Hello and welcome to the Computer Lab Vids YouTube channel. Uh, this video is on how to use the uh, email icons on your uh, Apple iPhone. Uh, this particular video is only on using an iCloud account. So if your email is uh, your name at iCloud.com and these are the icons you'll see. And the reason that I'm saying that is because if you're using a Google account, uh, your Google account will be uh, different there'll be different icons and we'll go into that in a different video which will um, you'll be able to access by going to our account so the first thing um, obviously is going to your emails um, and once you're in your emails here I've just gone straight into sort of a gen generic uh, Canon um, email and the first icon that we uh, we can use is the flag icon uh, and this is if you want to flag an email up um, and the reason why it's called flag it's basically just marking it you can see there, so what I've done there is um, clicked into the icon, uh, clicked to flag the uh, the uh, email. There's one already flagged there, we can see my name um, and the kind of one which I've just flagged and the little orange dot that pops up on this left hand side and also it pops up when you're in the menu. So unflag, push the flag icon again and you just literally just unflag it, simple as that. Um, it's quite good to organise your emails if um, you wanting to mark uh, for different importance or different events going on um, it can come in quite handy um, and it's good just to keep things organized so um, going in back into this generic one uh, clicking the flag icon uh, again uh, we can use the notify me icon if we click the notify me it brings up the secondary menu tells you what it's going to do uh, quite straightforward receive notifications when anyone replies to this email thread so if you're marking um, a notify email, it will um, actually uh, alert you on your iPhone when you're not actually in your email. Uh, basically just telling you that, um, that there is a thread that's been updated um, for something that you're following. It's, it's quite handy. Uh, not a lot of people use it, um, but it is a, a good tool. Okay, so the next one is the folder icon. Uh, the folder icon um, is handy but you have to do some uh, things before you can actually use it um, and this means logging into your iCloud account uh, on a web browser so if we um, open a web browser I'll open uh, using Safari it doesn't matter which you use you just need to make sure you go to the correct site uh, so this page obviously just the Apple page that's open at the moment uh, but I do have the iCloud uh, website already open, which is on the secondary tab here. So if I click on uh, iCloud, if you just go to iCloud.com, and you need to put your uh, details that you're using for your email iCloud account. Um, so as you can see on the iPhone, this is um, my iCloud folder list as it looks currently on the uh, iPhone. So if we log in uh, into our iCloud account in the browser, uh, and you can see all the different um, options that we have, photos, notes, etc. These will all sync to your phone if you set them to sync. But we need to click into the mail icon to create some separate folders. So if we click on the mail icon, um, we've got some options in here, but you can see straight away that the folder list replicates um, how our folder list looks on the iPhone. So uh, what we have to do is create some uh, new folders. And we do this by using the little plus icon um, on the web browser and you can name these folders uh, whatever you want um, some people like to just call it um, saved uh, inbox or saved emails some people like to call them um, if they're from their insurance company and just save them all into a, a single folder obviously it is entirely up to you but if I zoom in here you can see that little plus icon in folders um, and you can just create as many as you want um, obviously you don't want too many because you want to try and keep it organized um, I'm going to actually use the test folder one and use that that will sync automatically so the two here the friends emails and saved emails I've just created them just to show you that you can name them uh, um, however and whatever you want so I'll delete the friend emails and the saved emails and leave the test folder one there uh, to delete the emails uh, sorry the folders you click on the cog in the bottom left hand corner you have an option there delete folder it asks you are you sure you want to delete this obviously we've not saved anything into it yet we just created the folders so yes delete that and we'll delete the um, other folder as well and that will just leave the test folder in there, um, which is this one here. So you can see the um, folders just left on the browser there, and it should sync to the cloud, which it just has. So on the phone screen, you can see the folder test storage. 
And if I click on that folder now, test storage, and it puts the email straight into the um, folder we've just created. So if I just pick a, another email, just pick one of the uh, Canon emails again, again, click on the uh, folder icon, and then pick the folder, I'll just push on the archive uh, folder, and it will just drop straight into that um, folder. So the folder icon is a, a, a really nice uh, tool for keeping your emails organized. Um, and keeping them in different folders. So if we just go uh, back into the uh, mailbox, the iCloud mailbox, uh, and then we'll look at the bin icon, really straightforward. Um, obviously it's just your trash um, and where you wanna put um, stuff that you don't want. So you click on the email that you want, click on the bin icon and into the bin it goes, simple as that. Uh, not gonna spend much time on that one. I think everyone knows how to use the uh, bin. Next one is the arrow icon. So you click on the arrow at the bottom there and we have a couple of different options. Uh, the reply uh, just replies to whoever you've been uh, sent email from. So you just reply to sender, it's as simple as that. So you just fill in your message, uh, they reply them back to and send it. Next one is forward, you click on the forward button, uh, insert the email you want to forward the email to, uh, and then just click send and away it will go. The next one is the uh, print icon, so click on print. If you've got a, an Apple uh, printer on your network, it shows you what you're going to print. Select the printer at the top, and then obviously you can see here I've got a Canon. You click on that Canon, uh, and that will take you and print the uh, page off that you're trying to print. You can also change how many copies you want. Really good for printing from the iPhone, but you do need uh, an Apple printer on your network. Use a wireless one. Um, Okay, so uh, that's the arrow icon. So now the new email, uh, this is obviously again quite simple. It's meant to represent a pad with a pen and a paper on it uh, to give you an idea. If you click on the new email icon, again, straight into the two box, put the email address from um, who you want to send it to. Um, subject, obviously, is just what uh, description of the email. Uh, and it's also got, you see there, the sent from my iPhone. Um, that is the signature strip which you can change uh, that's just the default one that Apple uh, leaves on so uh, we will do that in another video I won't gonna do into it, uh, go into it on this one uh, because obviously this is just the icon so thank you very much for watching the computer lab vids channel I hope this video has helped if it has if you can give us a thumbs up uh, below or leave any comments or subscribe to our channel uh, they'll all be appreciated and please do check out uh, some of our other videos in our playlists. Um, we don't just cover iPhone stuff, we cover all sorts of different uh, computer uh, problems, issues and tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.